Good morning, Falcons. I'm Katie Rodriguez. And I'm Reagan Gingrich. Coming up, your Labor Day weekend outlook. Also, Girls Teen is won by a landslide against the Cedars. CCHS, CCHS today, today starts, starts now. now. Attention senior NHS members, if you are interested in running for an NHS officer, please complete the application on Schoology as soon as possible. The deadline is this Friday, September 3rd by 2.30 p.m. If you have any questions, please reach out to Mr. Plichta in room 221 or Mrs. Kosi in room 308. Be sure to check out the Nest, our school store, for all your Falcon merchandise needs. They've got great new Under Armour shirts, hoodies, backpacks, pop sockets, and more. You'll find the nest in the lobby of the main entrance. The John W. Davis Natatorium is looking for certified lifeguards and swimming instructors. If interested, please complete an application on the school website by clicking the Employment Information tab. Attention teachers and staff, have you ever wanted to be on the morning announcements? Now here's your chance. See, email cchstoday at gmail.com or stop by room 113 to sign up to Talent Second Period on Tuesdays. In class news, attention, any freshman interested in running for student council, please stop by room 120 to pick up a petition. Completed petitions are due on September 9th by the close of school. Elections will be held the following week. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Hepler in room 120. College admissions. College admissions representatives are returning to Cedar Crest for mostly in-person visits this fall. Flyers and announcements will be coming soon. These are great ways to connect with colleges. See Mrs. Follett? at the College and Careers Center in the library if you want a heads up on who is coming. The live stream team is back in action and will be with you all year so you continue to watch sports, plays, and more from the comfort of your own home. Make sure to visit cchstoday.com or head over to the CCHS Today YouTube to tune in. Auditions for this year's fall production of A Christmas Carol will be held Wednesday, September 8th in the auditorium and Thursday, September 9th in the chorus room from 3 to 5 p.m. All interested students, sh including technical crew, should pick up an audition packet in the main office. Now we send it over to Alex with the weather. Hurricane Ida is pushing through the region today and tomorrow. You can expect 7 to 10 inches of rain over the course of the next 48 hours. Fun fact, the last time we received this much rain was in the 2011 floods. Only this time, we'll be receiving just as much in half the time. Stay safe and dry, Cedar Crest. In your long weekend weather outlook, Friday, we have a high of 73 and a low of 55, partially cloudy. Saturday, we have a high of 76 and a low of 60 still partially cloudy. Sunday, we have 76 as the high and 63 as the low. Still partially cloudy. Monday, we have a high of 80 and a low of 60 with, you guessed it, partially cloudy. That's all for your weather outlook. Now we'll send it back to the desk. In sports news, the Falcon take on the Gettysburg Warriors this Friday night at home. Be sure to come out and support them or tune in to the live stream at cchstoday.com. The girls' tennis team took on the Cedar Lebanon Cedars yesterday, taking a huge win for the Falcons. They took a sweeping win in doubles, beating the Cedars 6-0 and 6-0. Sunday was senior... Oh, wait, moment. Sunday was Senior Parking Spot Day for the Class of 2022. We caught up with Senior Sora Murphy about her spots. Oh, I'm basically just doing some basic stripes. Uh, the lines aren't straight, but... Yeah, and I'm doing it because I had a plan in head, and then it kind of just went all downhill, so we're panicking. That's all for your morning announcements. I'm Katie Rodriguez. And I'm Reagan Gingrich. Make, Make it, it a great, great day, Cedar Crest. Crest. 